Israel-Gaza-Iran War News Live Update Conversation after Rafa Eavesdropping on the latest conversation between U.S. President Joe Biden, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and Benjamin Netanyahu. Damn Netan! I told you not to drop American bombs in Rafa. Why, man? Tents containing women and children. No reply. Blinken told Biden to call him Bibi, not Netan. Hello, Bibi. Blink with Joe. Are you hearing us? The recent bombing makes us seem horrible. My boys feel our media must cover the story. Netanyahu, I'm here. Look. All good. Do not worry. We always used your bombs. Everybody knows. I replied it was a mistake and we'll investigate. Small stuff. Blinky, inform your media that we murdered many tent-hiding militants. We have the right to defend ourselves when Hamas fights with women and children, Biden, damn it. Please stop bombing Rafa until later. My campaign is in full swing, and I cannot afford to lose additional voters over Gaza, Blinken, I told Gallant, Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant, before, you can use British, French, German, or other big equipment but don't use ours indiscriminately. Brits and others want to appear united against Hamas and Muslims. They fear Muslims. Using bombs, missiles, and other weapons on Hamas or others is fine. None in Europe cares, most support. All eyes are on Putin, Biden, college students are causing us problems, and we need to improve our relations with Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and others. Iran benefits from such errors. Go gently and tell your IDF and Air Force not to be trigger-happy and avoid more blunders, Netanyahu, you can handle college students. Kick where it hurts. They'll run to mommies. Only collateral damage. You guys coined that word. Do not lecture me. Your battles had how many collateral deaths? Ours are little compared to yours. Only 40,000 died, look. I have greater difficulties. Hostage families and pro-Hamas peace shitheads have slandered me for too long. I must prove to Lapid and Benny that they cannot defeat me. Israel can only win with me, Biden, this is not a lecture. Kindly refrain from offense. Netan, we support you. Totally. You have our unwavering support, Blinken, yes. Boss just revoked your arrest warrant from the ICC. Google shows that entire foreign media carried Joe's assertion that Gaza is not genocide. Every media headlined the boss defense of you. CNN, BBC, NYT, WP, Reuters, Fox, Al Jazeera, ABC, Politico. You name it. All of them agree that Gaza and Rafa are not experiencing genocide, the ICC cannot touch you. We promise to make Karim Khan and Fatou Ben Siddur regret their actions against you, Netanyahu, okay? I know, Joe. Please call me Bibi, my friend. You pull your strings, and we'll aid you in November. Our staff is already working hard to win. Remember that I was the first to congratulate you on winning. That angered Trump. Do not trust the schmuck. Imagine, he called me F. I'll never forget. Biden, thanks again, Bibi. Definitely a terrible guy. I'll trim him, but you must help more this time. We need lots of money for the campaign. If I lose, you must face him. Blinken, Bibi, I'll handle the money, though close, money can make the difference. Americans will vote for Biden if we spread negative Trump news. As everyone knows, Trump intends to negotiate a Palestine deal if he wins, this implies you must fight Hamas until election day. Netanyahu, no money issues, pal. I will continue the fight against Hamas and in Gaza longer than expected. You must keep sending war material. You must first assist me with the Euros. Don't trust bloody Norwegians, Spanish, and Irish. How dare they acknowledge Palestine? I expected you to keep them ours. Katz, Israeli foreign minister, should screw Sanchez, Spanish prime minister, Pedro Sanchez. Unbelievable that Spain promotes our extermination. I comprehend Ireland and Norway. Their audience has always hated Jews. 
We never anticipated the Spanish to bring the other two against us, even though they've always been, 